Adam Clark, Exec Director of Customers here at Northstar. So tell me about today, what's been happening today? Um, Northstar are a member of the Homes for Cathy group of, of housing associations and today we've been hosting a regional workshop of housing associations, charities, local authorities coming together to talk about homelessness. How important is that, that there is that 360 look at homelessness? Uh, it's hugely important and um, we, we're a housing association at the end of the day, we're a landlord and we, we're just one part of um, the work that goes into preventing homelessness but also trying to solve the, the housing crisis. So it's really important that we've got partners in the room that we're having discussions and joined up discussions about things that we might be able to do to, to try and solve the housing crisis. So how did this come around? How did it end up that you ended up hosting this event? Uh, as a housing association, we're a member of the, the group Homes for Cathy. Uh, really, it's a relationship that uh, David and I have from, from a, a previous organisation that I worked in. Um, and we, David contacted us as uh, one of the founders of Homes for Cathy and said, would you mind hosting a, hosting a workshop up in the North East? So we'll come to you. Name and title, please. I'm David Bogle. I'm Chief Executive of Pytown Housing Association in Hertfordshire, but I'm also a a leading uh, member of the Homes of Cathy group of housing associations and housing organisations. Talk, talk to me about Homes for Cathy. Tell me about that. I don't know yeah. much about it. No, well, it started about uh, four years ago when we realised it was the 50th anniversary of Ken Loach's Cathy Come Home being shown on BBC television and that a lot of housing associations had been founded straight after uh, people saw that, uh, that, that film. Uh, so lots of uh, local churches and locals, uh, rough sleeping is up uh, and the number of families and temporary accommodation is up. So as a group we're trying to highlight that and, and say that housing associations, local forests and everyone must come together and try and solve, uh, do their best to solve the homelessness crisis because it's, uh, it's an appalling, uh, appalling thing in this civilised country. So you know you've got the housing stock mm. it's not that simple of taking someone from the street and just put them in the house no. there's so many layers leading up to that isn't it well absolutely and you know it's also about uh, not only about housing people but but homeless people but uh, encourage them helping them to sustain their tenancy you know they it's no use putting someone in something that they can't keep going uh, otherwise they might be back on the street so it's about supporting them looking at uh, ensuring that uh, you know, they can furnish the place, they can access benefits if they need to. Uh, the, all the jigsaw that Adam's talked about is in place to, to support them in their tenancy and, and, and then they can move on into hopefully employment, training uh, and making the most of their lives. So it's not just standing over a keys to a flat or a house, it's, it's a full building up, maintaining that relationship because the last thing you want to be doing is putting someone in a house and then chucking them straight out because they can't can't work out how to pay their rent yes yes it's not, yes i mean we're in, in housing association we're tempted just to provide the housing and then forget about people <laughs> but you know we've obviously learned over the years that you need to provide a full service and it's about being part of the community and working with these local with the local authorities and other groups to to provide a whole whole solution so back to you, where, does, where do you fit in at Teesside? Is this something that you think about quite like that holistic approach to housing? Mm. You get people and help them to keep and register their tenancy? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we work in partnership with local authorities to allocate our houses to, uh, to people who need them. Um, but above just kind of general housing, we've got supported housing accommodation, which works specifically with uh, homeless families uh, and young people experiencing homelessness. Um, which is some of the work that um, that my colleague Claire here does. Um, so, so we we take a, a broader view of just kind of providing a home. It's, it's about the support that goes with that, um, and we work with partners to deliver support to you know the, to the kind of client groups that, that really need it. So it's not just about us. It's not just about providing a home. It's it's that kind of joined up approach of yeah, some people are going to need some support to to make this work for them. So Claire, name and title please. Yes, I'm Claire Teasdale, Supported Housing Manager here at North Star. So what, what are your challenges in your role? Um, well we've got a range of sports housing services across different local authority areas and different local authorities have different um, priorities and commitments around the budget so we've um, particularly had some funding struggles recently so services have been reduced or preventative services have, have been abolished um, 
So where somebody's tenancy is failing, um, rather than putting in the prevention, it gets to a crisis point, so people need the higher end support. So that's been a real challenge to us. Is it like juggling jelly sometimes? <laughs> Absolutely it is. <laughs> so, Keeps me on my toes. So today's like today when you can talk to other services and talk to people who make those connections. Does that help you in your job go forward? Absolutely. We work in partnership um, across nine local authority areas within our supported housing stock. And it was great to see some of the local authorities in the room as well, understanding our commitment to their homes for Cathy. And we work with 21 different um, specialist support agencies as well. And some of those agencies were in the room. So being able to share experiences, share learning and reflect on actually what do we need going forward for the future. So that was really important and it was really good to make those connections again with people today. So what did you learn out of today? That more um, organisations within the North East really should be committed to their homes for Cathy um, commitments. We should sign up to it and I learned that we're probably all experiencing the same kind of struggles but there's real passion across all of the providers in the North East that are in the room today. We really do want to make a change. So listen to what Claire's saying there. This, the more we talk, the more we realise that we've got the same problem. 